Now coming, uh, you know, back to uh, Daksha and the work you do, uh, can you please tell us more about what kind of services you offer? Like you already mentioned agriculture drones. Besides that, you know, is there anything else or how is this agricultural drone different from, let's say, the drones which are used for uh, spraying mostly because that's what we hear is one of the common applications, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the electric drone, uh, what we got certified is uh, similar to the, uh, see, whatever drone you use in agriculture is either it can be spraying or you put a seed spreader to uh, spray the seeds and, you know, plant the seeds. Uh, the, apart from this, on the agriculture side, you have uh, crop health monitoring. These applications are there, which is not very prominent in the country because it's pretty expensive at this stage. Uh, our uh, manual resources are much cheaper and, uh, you know, much economical at this given point of time. But I'm very sure the crop health monitoring will go a big way in the years to come. Hmm. Uh, because uh, this will help the drone to spray only to the crop which is infected or which needs that spray. Yeah. Today what is happening is you, you spray the uh, fertilizer or nutrient or anything. You spray across the field. You know, there is no specific location or anything. When you combine the technology with crop health monitoring, you can uh, make it to spray only to the area where it is required. Mm -hmm. So, which will enhance the usage as well as, you know, the uh, the other crops, which are good crops also, which, which will not get affected. Only the affected crop, infected crop will be sprayed. This is one area in agriculture. Regarding our product, uh, the IC engine drone, for example, uh, the battery drone, the biggest challenge is going to be the charging in the field. You know, you need to carry a charger. And, you know, most of the uh, villages, you don't get electricity that easily. So you need to carry a generator to charge the batteries. And, you know, every acre, you need to change the batteries. Mm -hmm. So, for example, our drone, we have, uh, we have what electric we have done is we are committing customer to uh, two tanks per, uh, per charge. You know, single battery, you can do two tanks charge, which is not being done today, which is being done as one tank. So this is one advantage we are trying to push over the market. That means you are charging and you are uh, changing the battery time will come down. Your effective time of spraying will be more. So that's one thing. And uh, the other thing on the IC engine is it doesn't need any battery. You know, petrol is available everywhere in the country. So you get a petrol, it's a simple two-stroke engine which is uh, coupled with uh, uh, certain generators, which is our uh, technology which we have uh, patented and which we are uh, doing. So, which means you get petrol, you can fly without any hassle. We have a small battery has a, a fail-safe uh, support. In case of engine failure, the battery will bring the drone to the ground. Okay. So, this is on the agriculture side. Uh, then surveillance, uh, we are the first company to get both the day and night surveillance uh, type certification for our uh, drone. So we have a day, uh, day also, it's called as DHQ4, you can look in our portal, it will be there. Okay. And that can, uh, that is uh, approved, type certified for both day as well as uh, night flying. So that's on the surveillance side, it can, uh, as per the regulations today, it can, though it can fly for 5 kilometers, uh, we have to restrict within 2 kilometers because of the regulations. There is no uh, authority approval now for beyond visual line of sight. So we need to restrict everything visual line of sight. Yeah. Then we have done uh, the first of its kind integration of uh, 32 BLC LIDAR uh, uh, for uh, Coal India, CMPDA, Coal Map in uh, CM for CMPDA. This is for uh, the complete uh, uh, monitoring of the coal mine and you know to the to check the excavation to measure what type of data collection lidar uh, process faster data than your conventional camera so mm -hmm. we are the first to for example the the payload itself is pretty expensive you know that drone costs you something like 1.5 1.6 crores yeah. you know because it's uh, the payload itself is very expensive so that is one on the coal side we have done and we have done uh, for disaster relief, we have done uh, for the Coast Guard in Chennai, we have given the uh, police, Coast Guard police, we have given a drone where you have the life rings carried in the drone. From the boat, it can take off or from the shore, it can take off. If somebody has fallen in the water, you know, you, the life rings can be dropped precise to the uh, person. Now, the boat with the waves, they can throw the ring, but it, the person may not be uh, nearer. Mm -hmm. You know, he has to still swim or if he doesn't know swimming, it's going to be a disaster. Yeah. So the drones can drop as much as close to the person. 
the life rings it can carry two life rings and three life rings we have designed both okay so at a time the drone can drop in one place and fly next to the other person who is there it can go suppose suppose a fisherman boat gets into a problem and water comes in boat in the boat turns down there will be two people or three people then you can put two rings or three rings you can carry in the drone and the speed is much faster than the boat hmm correct so yeah. this is one uh, we have demonstrated and we have done as uh, daksha you know the the primary objective is as dr kalam said you know initially we work for defense we do for defense also we are working on various projects but dr kalam said you have to focus both defense and commercial civil agriculture is also very important that's how when we did the first uh, drone we did electric and then we changed it to battery because a uh, hybrid engine because the, for the simple reason that uh, to avoid you know the battery dispersion is going to be a big challenge you know today even the electric cars the battery dispersion is going to be a big challenge in the future right even the world, rest of the world developed countries are also uh, working on that how to dispose such a huge quantity of batteries and you know because these are all lithium ion based and new technologies are coming up but once it life is done what you will do with those cells mm -hmm. you no know, you cannot do anything you have to do how how to dispose that's going to be a good uh, good challenge to have but it's it's a very important challenge so we thought maybe initially the market will drive towards electric and uh, i am very sure that uh, once the engine drone uh, stabilizes the market will move towards because already i have couple of my uh, farmers who have come to us saying that Sir, it is better to have engine drone because we feel it is easy to have. Though the machine is, you know, bit of technically it is complicated than electric, but uh, end user will feel advantages because he doesn't need to worry about charging the battery and things like that. And it's a simple thing. It's like maintaining your motorcycle. You know, that, that's that's the whole idea. Okay. So these are all various activities. Uh, defense, of course, we are working on various projects. So apart from this, these are all the other things which we have done. in various areas yeah and uh, and the examples you gave are uh, you know very interesting and you know they are also helping us to learn in fact it's like a simplified uh, way of telling us how drones are being applied because all said and done this is a very uh, technical kind of a sector and also uh, yeah. it has a defense element to it but then the disaster relief and other things that are possible i think there is immense potential uh, right in applying Quite true. yeah uh, so uh, uh, what... even uh, fire safety is also there yeah in uh, fire safety also we have done demonstrations uh, the other area is on the civil construction it will play a major role hmm. in assessing the volume of consumption you know for example uh, what you have been utilized in the week you can take a stock pile of a steel material or a cement material by calculating the volume in the drone Yeah. and after the next week the same place if you take the volume you can calculate directly how much square feet they should have built what is the volume of material whether they have used is uh, the surveillance is very small but mm -hmm. there are multiple other applications in drone where you know we are working with somebody for you know uh, chimney cleaning then uh, we are working on tether drones for uh, some uh, big uh, companies campus surveillance because mm -hmm. tether can fly for almost 24 hours a day you know with every you need to do a break for 10 15 minutes every 4 hours that's all it flies in a, with the help of a tether and it can monitor 3 and 1/2 kilometers surveillance it can do 360 degree uh, always so that becomes very easy you know if something is happening by a person to reach there with small cameras it is very difficult because person has to go yeah so we did some demonstrations to big companies where the combination of drones one small surveillance drone if they find something the surveillance drone will be immediately flying to that area you can zoom the number plate of the vehicle hmm. you know all that we can do we are working with various projects uh, you know this is cross country pipeline is one thing oil pipeline gas pipeline monitoring lot of application is coming up so and i think uh, maybe next two years you will see more and more application of drones of course the regulations we need to do within that purview and uh, For government projects, we can take approval from DGCA for flying from the respective airport authorities. So we should ensure that we. The prime, uh, most important thing is we need to ensure that we we follow the guidelines and principles of the regulations. As an organization, we don't want. We have a strict uh, policy that any uh, point of time we should not violate 
hmm. you know because there is a potential market it doesn't mean that you should violate something and do we should try to do with what best we can do for within the regulations right so before we close this conversation in fact you have given so many examples so i think i'm really indebted to that part of the learning today uh, before we close this uh, we would also like to know is there something like uh, you know opportunities for people to partner you if they are looking for uh, uh, you know expertise in training and also maybe you can send out a message through our channel to people who are watching this see definitely uh, one thing i would like to say you know i strongly believe that uh, knowledge grows by sharing you know if you keep knowledge within yourself it doesn't grow the more and more you share the more and more you will be pushed to learn because uh, there will be more and more questions like you ask me some question if i don't know something i have to i am responsible to learn and come back to you right so that's how you will improve on the training side definitely yes if somebody wants they can uh, mail me you have my mail id they can mail to me i can put them to the right connect if they want some input they can take if some uh, uh, youngsters want to are looking you know expansion is going on some i would also take uh, this opportunity from uh, what you are given to say that if some good uh, engineers are there on the computer side or on the avionics side if somebody is interested to i have a pursue a good career on uh, uav definitely they can write to me i we can uh, see and uh, take them if the opportunity we can create for them and uh, i'm very sure uh, it will be mutual whenever we do an interview it's mutual i think uh, i appreciate your uh, time as well and support for this thank you <laughs> so definitely people can contact us for uh, any support so of course as you all know that i cannot give the technology to them <laughs> just like that but what i say i can give i can definitely give knowledge is knowledge is nothing i know uh, i definitely whatever i know little i can share sure sir uh, thank you so much i think that means a lot uh, for an upcoming industry in india where lot of us have to learn a lot and like you very rightly said yeah. knowledge sharing is the highest priority today so thank you so much yeah. for giving us your time and we'll be in touch with you and keep you updated thank you sir sure, madhavi thanks all the all the best to drone twins for uh, creating more and more talents in the country thank you thank you very much thank you thank you. bye